Gerald Hayden third, digs in now. The designated hitter. Gerald Hayden. That one ripped right center field. And that should be extra bases. And it gets by him. Round second, digging for third. That nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field. And it doesn't always translate into the game. But right there it did. And he did it perfectly. Manny Machado up to the plate. And when you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. He on third with two out. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. Well, that's a strikeout, and that'll do it for the inning. So they pick up a two-out triple, but can't bring them home. And now we'll see what the Giants can do. No score. Now batting, the designated hitter, Gerald Hayden. Swing and he breaks his bat. Tosses to first. That's out number three. Now batting, designated oh, hitter, right here. Gerald Hayden. Lifted to left center, way back there, and that is gone. A gigantic blast. It's 10 to 2. So the streak stays alive. His fourth straight game with a home run. Boog, that's like a cycle of home runs, and I know how much you love the cycle. He's absolutely punishing mistakes right now, he can't miss. Look at that pure reaction fastball up and in not an easy pitch to get to but because it was just a reflex he didn't have time to get long with his swing back here at Oracle Park and now the DH Gerald Hayden Gerald Hayden Webb back to work Swing and a fly ball in the air out towards right center field. It gets down a base hit. Didn't take long to get a result for that at bat. I don't know the how he's able to shoot that 13. pitch the other way and still Manny put something on it. That pitch was inside and he let it get really deep. So pretty incredible hands to fight it off and still get good wood on it. The Padres with a lot of ground to make up and we're in the top of the eighth. And he walked him. Inside, ball four. Take your base. That just came apart right there. Four pitch walk. Now and batting. guy at the play was not going to help him out by swinging at something out of the zone. And now the catcher comes up to him. Luis Campusano. Here's a 2 2. Hit hard. Base hit. He coming home. He'll score. It's 10 4. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. Man in scoring position with two away. Gerald Hayden, the next up for the Padres. Looking to complete the cycle with a double. Swung on, rip. And this one could be extra bases. He's got a shot at this. Runner from second crosses the play. It's now 10 to 5. And he's got a double, his fourth hit. Some history here, and what a game he's had. Chris, you hit for the cycle, so you know what this is like. 
It's a really cool thing to accomplish, especially when your team gets the W. And one thing that gets lost in this is that you had at least four hits in a ball game, and not a lot of guys can even say they did that in the course of their career. Here's Machado. One run across in the frame so far here in the second game of the series. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Oh, you know this guy wants to swing it, but he's showing some good patience in now this batting. one. It's the second time he's taken Luis. ball four. Luis Campusano, the next up for the Padres. Two outs. That one the other way. He's got it. Ball game. And the Giants slug their way to a win in this one. He had a great showing in this game despite the team's loss. Collected four hits. One of them left the park. Such a tremendous effort at the dash. They didn't get the win, but he certainly wasn't the reason they lost. 